This is not a replica. Fanatec have just announced a new BMW GT3 car wheel rim. Let's talk about it in this video. Welcome back to the Gamer Muscle YouTube channel and welcome to sim racing equipment that will blow a hole in your bank account. It is the new Fanatec BMW GT3 rim. Now, what's really interesting with this wheel and what's different is that this is literally the GT3 wheel rim. This isn't a replica. This isn't some off version of it or, you know, like a, a remade version for sim racing. This is the exact same wheel. BMW are like, you can use this with our GT3 cars, which everybody owns, obviously. I mean, I've got three of them. Or you can use it in your sim rig and it's interchangeable. It doesn't, it doesn't make any difference. Um, and what's interesting with that are a couple of things, uh, which I'll talk about later in this video. First of all, though, uh, looking at the wheel rim itself, I think it looks pretty nice. I'll be honest, it's not my favorite visual aesthetic when it comes to how a wheel looks. Um, I, weirdly, I think it actually looks somewhat childlike in, it, in its shapely manner. Uh, maybe all the child steering wheels were designed around BMW GT3 cars. Maybe that's uh, BMW's secret industry there. But personally, when you know, when it comes to how a wheel looks, I don't really care. It's, it's what it's actually like to use and the ergonomics. And it does look like the ergonomics on it are absolutely fantastic, as you'd expect from a real GT3 car. It's no good driving and not being able to reach buttons. So, you know, you've got your standard uh, grips, uh, with the with the buttons all accessible by your thumbs and obviously all the buttons and dials and everything will work absolutely fantastic uh if, if you're wearing gloves and it, you know re really obvious to, to feel what you're doing in a real car you're obviously moving around all over the place so it needs to be very obvious in a simulator that's not as important i think the uh compared to the other fanatec wheel rims when you look at it um it seems to have a similar number of buttons to it so, you know three three top buttons uh one two three four side buttons it's got six on there and we've got three down the bottom here so similar number of buttons and then obviously three rotary encoders so um it seems as if it would work in line with the other fanatec podium equipment in terms of that functionality and then you can see with the bmw gt3 rim you've got what look like two bottom uh, clutches you can just see them sticking out on the picture uh and then obviously the, the main shifters um so that's nice. Oh, oh yeah, also the uh, the encoders you'll notice on on the Fanatec F1 wheel rims uh, are, are positioned uh, on the center, whereas on the BMW one they're positioned more to the top side, which is quite interesting. Which is more which is more accessible and which is easier to use. Um, in terms of width, though, uh, this this wheel rim is 310 millimeters, whereas the Fanatec Formula rims, which a lot of people are using for GT3 cars. I think a 270 millimeters so i think the porsche wheel rim by fanatec is another 300 to 310 millimeter wheel rim but yeah you know so in terms of actual functionality buttons quite similar to the other podium wheels but the main thing here is just that this this wheel is literally the same wheel that's in the gt3 car so if you if you wanted the uh tactile experience of driving a gt3 car um, the BMW GT3 car, this is going to be the closest that you can realistically get to it in a simulator. So scrolling through the Fanatec website, uh, they, they hammering home the thing about this being a real deal. David Dickens' real deal. That's a reference that people outside the UK won't get. Uh, nothing's more authentic than this. For the first time in sim racing history, a steering wheel has been developed simultaneously for both real and virtual racing. Uh, engineer at Fanatec, collaboration with BMW. Uh, yep, what I've just said. Uh, interestingly though is actually to get that to work they've obviously had to do some shenanigans with the electronics and the quick release and other aspects so that it does go across um, which will be interesting to see how that actually applies to the Fanatec wheelbases so the quick release mechanism on this looks slightly different to the standard podium quick release um, in the past all Fanatec steering wheels work with all wheelbases so you know if you bought a CSL Elite you, you can put any Fanatec wheel on it. Even stuff, even the podium wheels work on the CSL Elite and uh, just any of the, you know, the, the older CSL Elite wheels all work going up to the to the podium wheel. So I don't know if this will only work on the on the um, DD wheels or, you know, higher end stuff or with some kind of socket adapter. I don't know. Uh, we'll have to see. Uh, but uh, I mean, to be honest, I think if you're, you know, this wheel's not going to be cheap. <laughs> <laughs> if you're spending more than it's going to cost more than 500 pounds i'm pretty sure i don't know the actual price but let's say it does 
if you're spending more than 300 pounds 400 pounds on a on a steering wheel you, you, you know you probably want to have a dd to be using that equipment on it uh you know so i i personally i wouldn't be I, I i wouldn't be surprised if this maybe doesn't work on the lower end wheels maybe it will do i'm not saying it doesn't uh I, but i wouldn't think it's the end of the world if it doesn't if you see what i'm saying um but yeah so the real big thing though with this wheel rim is more the aspect of the partnership between bmw and fanatec and the fact that sim racing has got to a point now where bmw work with a sim racing company to do this crossover it really shows that bmw are like sim racing's a thing <laughs> and bmw is not a small not a small brand so you you've seen this from uh, you've seen this with like porsche and other car companies as well really getting into sim racing and it really shows you how sim racing has changed i mean this this sort of thing literally would not have happened to this extent of, uh, just a few years ago i mean the closest thing was the previous uh maybe the previous bmw rim which they, they did a promo of it where you could put that into into a real car demonstrating there's a solid wheel rim uh but this this like takes things to a to another level really with the fact that they used it in their race cars where you have to get a certain degree of performance from it otherwise you know the bmw don't want to run a car that's not competitive <laughs> put a wheel rim in it it doesn't work you know it's got to pass a certain threshold um so that's that's crazy and also i, I think what it shows as well is that so in the past, you would have um, sim, sim racers, sim, uh, simulators for the teams, like the driver in the loop testing. They would have a factory simulator that they use for all their testing um, and, and, you know, like their, their race testing. That would be their main simulator you have to go to in their factory. It's a huge simulator. That's all they use. Whereas now, uh, a lot of these pro race drivers are doing sim racing at home to practice and getting more hours in many ways on their home simulator than they would on their on the factory simulator um because at the end of the day you know it's more like a time thing of just getting into a zone having the convenience of having the sim simulator equipment in in the driver's house they can jump on it they could turn they could do two hours of focus training every single day without having to book anything in they could just get on the sim rig and do it and by having the equipment here this bmw rim for the bmw drivers you know they could just get that wheel on their home simulator and it's identical it's, so it all lines up the process with the buttons and they're practicing their strategies and things it all just lines up there's going to be absolutely nothing different there and no reaccommodation required when they come to uh, driving their real world car um and, and i definitely think that's that is quite a big change having the drivers having their home simulators versus the factory simulator that they're locked into <laughs> so uh yeah you know it's, it's an interesting one uh, I, I'm, I'm a little bit on edge when it comes to like these big car manufacturers getting into sim racing i see you know obviously there's huge be uh, business benefits more money in a sense coming into sim racing that allows it to get to a bigger audience but then also the commercialization of sim racing can have some downsides when it comes to this sort of uh, purity of sim racing is something that people are just doing for fun rather than just doing it as a business uh, you know before you know it you'll have people with youtube channels leeching off sim racing as as a business so uh you know <laughs> as as new information comes out on this fanatec gt3 rim i will let you know and cover it i'll put a link underneath this video with specs and details about this wheel rim for those of you that want to go deep dive into into the uh, new wheel rim and take a closer look at it uh, but uh, that is it. That is the new Fanatec BMW GT3 wheel rim and, and my announcement. <laughs> this is my announcement of it. Uh, I just thought it was quite interesting, this, this, this collaboration between the fact that it's a real car wheel, the race car wheel for your sim. I thought that's quite interesting, e even if you're never going to get one. That's quite an interesting thing. But uh, right. I want to do a live stream later, so subscribe and like if you're going to watch this live stream, if you want to be notified, or YouTube doesn't notify people half the time. But if you want notifications occasionally, click the subscribe button, click the bell. But uh, until then, guys, thank you for watching this. Happy sim racing, happy tea drinking, and goodbye, everybody. <laughs>